Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to this brand new outfit tutorial video uploading here on the channel of Games Home Life. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you a red and black male outfit using the creator outfit transfer glitch of the latest patch of 1.46. Now this, this combination of colors has been highly requested on Instagram. People ask me a lot to like do an outfit tutorial like this. So that's why I'm bringing out this tutorial for this male outfit for you today. Now, as you might have seen on the thumbnail, I also have added the red helmets. If you want to know how you can get the red bulletproof helmet, I will have a video link for that in the description box down below. You can easily get that after completing the whole outfit and it just makes this outfit really cool and much more modded. So what this outfit has is it has the black fat shirt, a black t-shirt with some red letters on it, um, or red text on it. We have the black and red Tron shoes and the black racing gloves. And I just added a rebreather and the helmet to make it all together. So I won't be showing you the whole transfer glitch, we only will be working with the components, so let's get started on the second female character. So for the very first outfit, and we have to make three in total on this female character, you want to go to the leather jackets and put on the blue GC jackets. This one will be the biker suit top component, because the very first outfit will be for the biker gloves. Now you want to go to the tank tops and make sure you put on the two-tone tank. This is just a basic one that everybody has unlocked to make sure that the top like transfers over. So now for the pants, you want to go to the sports pants and put on the spotted muscle pants in order to merge your pair of black joggers. So now you want to go to the shoe section, go to the boots and put on the worn chocolate slack boots, which are the red Tron shoes components. Now for the second and the third outfit, the shoes and the pants will stay the same, so you do not have to worry about that anymore. Now this will be outfit number one for the gloves, make sure that you save that on slot number one on the second female character. So now you want to move over to outfit number two, and like I said, the pants and the shoes stay the same. So we want to go over to the top section again, you want to go to the designer hoodies and put on the baby blue SN hoodie. This one will be the t-shirt component with like the red text on it that we will be merging through our fast shirt. So now you want to go to the accessories and simply go to the gloves and apply the light woodland tactical gloves. And these gloves will allow us to merge our racing gloves on top of this t-shirt and then we will also be merging it on the final outfit. So this is outfit number two, make sure that you save it on slot number two and then we're moving over to the last one. And again, we'll only be changing the tops. So for tops, you want to go to the leather jackets and put on the blue cropped biker, which is a merching jacket for our t-shirts. And then you want to go over to the bus cheers and you want to put on the white lace bus cheer, which is the black fast shirt components. And then this will be outfit number three. So it's really easy. The only thing that we're basically changing are like the top components. So now you want to save this outfit on slot number 3 and then your 3 outfits are done in order to transfer it over and make it one outfit on the male character. So if you've got your components set and ready to go then you just simply want to apply the very first outfit. And then you want to make your way out of the clothes store and do the creator outfit transfer glitch. Now like I said I won't be featuring it in the video because it's so easy to do. You'd, all you have to do literally is go to creator, grab yourself a publish it or save it race, test the race and after that just simply go to choose character and delete the second character, return back to story mode and then go back to an online session. So that's all there is to it. It's really really easy to do. The full tutorial will be up in the description box too if you want to know how to do it. So I'm quickly going to transfer it over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So I'm back here on the male character and as you can see my three outfits has successfully transferred over. So what I didn't mention is that it will lose, um, that you will lose your outfits but I've uploaded this so many times here on the channel, so many outfits with this. So you guys must know that it will delete your outfits and that you have to delete your second character in order to do this. So the three outfits have transferred over. Before you want to go ahead and create this outfit into one outfit, you need to have the pair of black joggers on the male character. 
I will leave a video link in the description box down below how to save at Vizari mode outfits and how to get yourself the pair of black joggers from Turf Wars. So as soon as you have the black joggers you want to save it anywhere and now we're going to be merging the very first outfits. So make sure you are in a public session, leave your black joggers outfit on and simply start up the Crooked Cop vs Job from Rockstar Games. Now if you're joining somebody else, make sure that the host has set clothing to play your own at. And of course, if you are hosting it yourself, make sure that you put it to play your own at yourself. So, um, as soon as you are in a job, it's set to play your own net and you have somebody who can help you out or the host has launched it up. You want to wait until you are on this screen right here and all you have to do is just simply scroll over to own it outfits and go once to the right to put on the very first outfit. Now this is what it should look like. All you have to do is hit ready to play and just take the outfit straight inside of the Crooked Cop mission. Now to make sure that this outfit saves, you need to have a rebreather or like a earpiece that I mention in every video. So you want to hold down the touchpad, go to style, go to accessories and either put on like the rebreather or the earpiece from the gear section. So as soon as you have applied that, you want to pull up the phone and simply quit the job. Now as soon as you spawn back in with your male character, you want to move over to the accessories section first. And you want to make your way into the gloves and there you will see the option race suit gloves. Simply hit X on it and then you will get the race suit and gloves on this outfit. So now this will be like the main outfit. We will be merging this with slot number 2 and slot number 3. So make sure that you save this on slot number 1 or just override the slot. So now this is the setup. So now we can merge the whole outfit and just get it ready. So if you have it saved on slot number 1, then you again want to return back over to that same Crooked Cop mission. Again, it doesn't matter if you host it or if you join somebody else's, as long as clothing is set to player own it. Now once the job is launched up and you're on the screen right here, you want to scroll to own it outfit, go once to the right and nothing should change. Go once to the right again and you should see the t-shirt and then go once to the right again and then the fast shirt will like merge through it and it will remove the white glitch the thing that was through it so now the outfit is done hit ready to play and again you want to take this inside of crooked cop so now we're basically going to be repeating the steps that we did before so you want to hold down the touchpad go to style accessories and either put on a repeater or a earpiece or a hat or a mask because this outfit doesn't have um, checkerboard items so as soon as you've applied something you want to pull up the phone and simply quit crooked cop again and now once you are in an online session, then you're basically good to go. And you can like save this outfit up and you can add the helmet to it if you want to and some other accessories. Just like you see here in the gameplay or in this picture that I've posted on Instagram. I added the red helmet to it and I think it looks really really good with it. So this was basically the tutorial on this outfit that you're seeing here on screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel of Game Time Life. And turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest videos and uploads. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone!